he's promised of a creation of holy beings, and also holy creatures, and also a new creation, he, shall resurrect the dead, and then all those that are ease, they shall be like ease angels. Then those that are ease, that are both male and female shall be emanated by elu. And then they all would be like ease angels. And then human sexual copulation would cease to exist. Because there wouldn't be no need for human sexuality. Because sex and human sexual intercourse, would be done away with. And we all would be made into new creatures, as Elu, the Sovereign One would emanates us all, as He would recreate us into holy beings, and as He's holy new creatures. And like He's living beings, and for one which is like He's holy angels. Hallelujah! Friends, we all would be like He's holy angels. And no seventy-two virgins would be waiting for you or for any one of us for that matter. Only E's holy emanated beings would be in E's holy kingdom and would be allow in E's holy heaven. Because we all would be emanated to be like E's holy angels. I am sorry for those whom are deceived by their various religions especially the Muslims who have the notion that if they would sincerely and wholly follow after God, and worship God and also his holy prophet that they would be saved, and in the case of those in Christendom, that if they would worship God, and his son, Yeshua or Yeshua, whom is also named Jesus, that they too would be saved. And if many would adhere to Islam, and if they would worship their God, Allah, that they would be rewarded with seventy-two virgins. And that their servitude or service would be rewarded, and then they would be honored or be blessed by Allah in the afterlife. Friends, this is a lie. And this is why so many of us have been deceived. Because this is untrue. And this is why many in religion are being lost, and why many are being deceived. And it's because we don't know Elu and whom he's called Holy E, and also the truth about E, and the truth and the understanding of E's scriptures. And this is why God, who is also known by the name Satan, and who has been able to deceive E's people in E's entire world. And this is why so many of us that are in E's world have erred. Mark chapter 12 verse 24 to 27, And then he, turned to them, and in answering them Elu, said you all do not understand anything. And you don't even know anything about whom is he. And whom is the sovereign one of heaven. Therefore you all are dying, and going to your grave in your sins. And this is why many of you have erred with this very error, and we are struggling within our religion and with the sin of disobedience, and with our many latries, and with the failure to be holy, and with this misconception of being safe, and with the failure of understanding this very error that is in the Bibles, and it is because we all don't know who is Elu, and who is the Sovereign One of Heaven, and who is called the Holy One, and who is the One who is called Holy, and the Almighty. Nor do you know Ease Holy Scriptures, and neither do we all know the power of Elu. And it is because we don't know E, and this and that, and that when any one of us whom belongs to E, has died that we all shall be resurrected from the dead, and that we all shall become like E's angels. And also that neither shall we be married or remarried, nor neither shall we be given over into marriages in the afterlife. Because those that are E's they shall be as E's angels, which are in E's heaven. But as for the wicked dead, and also all those who worshipping their many man-made religions, and their many gods, that they have erred. And as for all those who are for God and Jesus, that they too shall be resurrected so that they can be judged. But for those whom are for Elu, they shall be made alive, and they shall be coming back with Elu, because they shall be with the Eluhim, when Elu, shall return in the end time to establish his holy kingdom in his world. Because all those that are ease they shall rise first, and haven't you read in the book of E.M.O.Z., whom is better known as Moses, what E.L.U. said, while he, was speaking to E.M.O.Z., in the wilderness, when he was speaking to him at the burning bush, how he, have said this, to him, when E.L.U., said to him, this saying, I am E.L.U., whom is the odd, and the sovereign one of heaven whom is called holy, and E.L.U., and E Elohim. And whom, is the sovereign king of all the heavens and the earth. And also the sovereign one of E Abraham, 
and also the eternal living one whom is the head of all things. And whom is called the E. Yacobi. Now you go, and you go tell the congregation that E. is real. And that you have seen E. Elu. And that E. exist, and that E. Elohim is the odd. And that E. is alive. And that E. is whom is the odd. Now you go, and you tell them this saying, and that you have seen E. the sovereign one. And that E. is alive, and that E. is real. And that E. exist. Because E. is the odd, and also that E. is the sovereign king of all who are dead, and also that E. is the sovereign judge. And whom would soon return to judge this world, and to establish E.'s holy kingdom, then all those that are E.'s would be saved, and they would be dwelling with E. And they would be alive, and also all those that are E.'s, that they shall be on the earth when E. Elu shall return, and then they would be E. emanated by E. But many people who are living now they don't know this, but now you know. And it is because many of us do not really know the scriptures. And this is why so many of us are here living in error, and this is why many of us are sinning greatly. Matthew chapter 25 verse 10 And while they that went to buy oil for their lamps, while they were gone to buy their oil for their lamps, that Elu the bridegroom came. And they that were ready went into the wedding with Eluhim, and the door was shut. Friends, let us all consider this message and let us now begin to acknowledge Elu, as we look to E, for E's salvation. And as we begin to get ready. Because E, E's certainly coming back in the end time. Hallelujah praise E, the odd. Friends, E is coming because the signs of the time are now everywhere. And soon all those whom have died would be raised. Even all those whom have been reserved for God and Jesus. They too would be raised. And then they all would be judged by Elu. But those that are for E. Would be resurrected first. And all those that are E's, they all would come back with Elu, in the end time. And at E's return. And this would be when E, would return to reign in Satan, and all the wicked, even all those that have died, and also all those who are for God and Jesus. And then they all would be judged. But all those who are E's they would be raised first, and then they would be coming back with E, and so shall they be alive with E, the odd forever. Hallelujah! Friends, the Sovereign One of Heaven regretted that E, had created womankind since God got real deceived E Eve, and when mankind sinned, and when mankind fell in the beginning of E's creation. And ever since that time womankind and mankind have struggled with sex, and sexual sins, and and sexual intercourse, and also the sins of sexual promiscuity, and polyandry, and polygamy, and cuckoldry, and harlotry, and sodomy. And also in their belief of false literatures, and also their involvement in male and female prostitution, and also in sexual immorality, and abortion, and sex and sexual assault, and sexual trafficking, and also in sexual masturbation, and also in pornography, and in rape and incest and also in murder, and also in many other sexual crimes which are against women and men and children and animals. Friends, the Almighty E, have decided that E would remake E's creation, and that all the old things would be done away with, and that E, would create a totally new being, one that is like E's holy angels. One that would not be susceptible to horrors and the egregious crimes of sex and to one that would be given over to all kinds of sexual immoralities and also many sexual manipulations. And also for a being which would be susceptible to sin and sinning, whether it was male or female, and one which could be easily be tempted by Satan to commit many of the above sins. Friends, and it was because of womankind whom was the weaker being, that Satan was able to beguile Eve. And that's why E's creation fell because of their sins of disobedience and sexuality immoralities which led to the corruption of womankind and mankind and also because of all the other crimes which were against all of humanity. And this was why E's world fell because of God got real and Eve's sin of disobedience which was against the E Elohim, when God deceived Eve, and got real and Eve fell into sin. And this was how Satan was able to corrupt E's creation. 
because Eve was the mother of all human being. And she was believed to be the mother of Godreel. And now Godreel is one whom many now believe was also known as God, and also Jesus, and also Satan. Because God is the short form of the name for Godreel, and Godreel was the serpent who deceived Eve in the Garden of Eden. So it was God Gadriel who was culpable for the fall of humanity, and the corruption of E's creation. And according to the book of E. Enoch chapter 68 verse 6 God or Godriel was indeed the evil one whom beguiled Eve. And that's when all mankind fell because of their sins. Friends, from that point on humanity have never been the same. My friends, E. Elohim have decided to banish God and his seed, but that E. Elu, would redeem mankind and also womankind, and to make us all into E's new creation, and also into E's new creatures, an E emanated holy being. And one like E's holy angels. And very soon the E Elohim would return to establish E's holy kingdom. And to create a new creature. One where we all would be made like E's holy angels. And in that day it would be when all E's people would be E emanated and then they would be made into holy beings, and a holy creature, and into a creature and a holy being which would be one like E's holy angels. Thank you. E Elohim. Praise E. The Odd. Hallelujah. The End. Friends, if you believe in the frailties of mankind, and also in the frailties of womankind, and also that E Elohim, E's the Sovereign One of all people. And that E Elu, E's the Odd and the Sovereign One whom E's over us all. Even over all those who are in E's world, and over all those who are yet alive. And even those who have passed on. Then would you begin to Hallelujah, today. Thank you. And may Eeluyah save us all. And also may the Eeluhim make us into E's holy creation and also into E's holy beings, and a new creation as E, the sovereign king of heaven has promised. So let it be. Hallelujah Amen. The End <laughs>